about the brain as an undergraduate. And I um, found myself always asking when I was learning about cognition as such, you know, what are the neural mechanisms of that? How could I understand how the brain could give rise to those phenomena? And over the years, I began to feel, and some of my collaborators that I worked with um, also felt that this um, computer metaphor of mind was a bit of a straitjacket for us. It was, was constraining us to think about the mind uh, as though it were much more algorithmic and sequential and sort of go through a series of steps as though a programmer had written those down for you, you know, much as you might do a recipe the first time you've done it if you've never cooked that dish before, you know, read the first step, do that, read the, you know, and then, oh, I was supposed to soak this for four hours in advance, you know, and, and then no comprehension really, you're just following the steps. So we started to think that maybe what I had learned about it, about the brain as an undergraduate might be, might be relevant. And so we started to ask the question, well, you know, how is it that the brain could end up supporting cognitive activity? 